You can either do a slow cooker for four hours, but we don't roll like that. Or you can cook on high for two hours, we don't roll like that. Or you can cook it on the stove top by bringing it to a boil and cover and reduce the heat and cook for 20 minutes. We cook like that. On this edition of Cooking with Strider, <laughs> we're making creamy tomato basil soup with parm. Cause I love parm and I love creamy things and tomatoes and basil. You wanna try some? No. Thank you. <clears throat> Please? No! I'll give you something. Give you lots of love and what's up with the lights? Y'all see how it flickers like that? Wait, wait till I hold it still. Oh, it works. All right, let's go get everything. But first, let's look at little Mew Mew. Oh, Mew Mew! Hi, baby girl, come here. Where are you going? Did daddy give you some food? Did you find something to play with? Huh? Did you find something, you little cute little kitten? Oh my goodness, all right. Okay, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Let's get the stuff. We need but one medium onion, one clove of garlic, but we like garlic, so make that three. All purpose flour, but we are doing keto, and I haven't actually used this flour yet. I think it's one to one, but we're gonna give it a shot. 32 ounces of chicken stock. Thank you Costco for all eight of them that you gave me one, one time. Two. 28 ounce cans of peeled tomatoes, whole peeled tomatoes. I don't use two, I use one because tomatoes are carby. Six carbs, four sugars for half a cup of it. So we're not gonna be eating that much of it, obviously, but if I had two of them, it'd be a lot more. But what I also like to do is I like to add this. I haven't actually tried fire roasted. I usually add like basil and whatever, garlic kind of diced ones to it, but today we're gonna try this one because it just looks amazing. Five carbs. 10 basil leaves, which are looking a little questionable, but thankfully, my basil has been growing like crazy. Basil. Have you seen him grow? It has been raining so much in Austin, but look at how much my basil's growing. Look at my lima beans. Look at your lima beans. It's fallen over. Look at my lavender. Look at the parsley. I forget we can eat this stuff. I have eaten some of the mint. We have two kinds of mint and I don't know how to use them. One cup of heavy whipping cream, but we're not gonna use that much because one cup is too much, let me tell you. And a whole lot of grated Parmesan. And some salt and the pepper and hopefully we get to use little Mr. Doc. Is that a duck or a chicken boo-boo? Uh, I don't know. It's a chicken duck. And you need a big pot. Boo-boo! Huh? Are you my sous chef today? No. Okay. I will do it myself. Put four, four tablespoons into there. Four whole onion chopped. <laughs> I only did like half of this row because it just, there's a lot of it. <laughs> Even half of it went all over the place. Clove of garlic. You know what? We do three because I love garlic, and I'm gonna try to do it like the chefs do it. Uh, this stresses me out more than putting my fingers in harm's way, because I feel like I'm gonna cut my knuckles. That's worse to me than my fingernails. Don't cut my knuckles. Don't cut my knuckles. Okay, I don't like it. Nope. Okay, don't cut my knuckles. Don't cut my knuckles. It says finely chopped, but I kind of like big chunks of stuff in there. Yum. Ugh, ugh, ugh. All right, this is gonna go on to medium heat. And what I love about this dish is it takes like literally 20 minutes. Why is it flicker like that with these? 20 minutes. Hold on, if I hold it still, Nope, nope, look, if I aim it, look at that. It's in the hertz. We will now add the chopped onion. Oh, no, no. <laughs> the garlic went in. One teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. And we shall stir. All right, we're gonna saute these onions for eight, zero, zero, timer. While that sautés, I'm so afraid to look in here. No, it looks fine. We're gonna take this guy out because we will be using it. We will also be making with our tomato basil soup, some grilled cheese. This bread is amazing. Two grams of net carbs and it tastes like bread. Our American cheese and some bara spray. Please tell me everybody else's little press looks like that. <laughs> Please. I like to have these all spritzed and sitting for a little bit so it gives it a chance to just drink it up. Drink it up, little bread, drink it up, and I'm going to twist it, so <laughs> drink it up in the paper towel. Drink it up, paper towel, drink it up. <laughs> Double cheesed and ready to go. Okay, let's go move on. How much time do we have? One minute. It's looking good and almost a little burnt, so let me go ahead and add the massive amount of garlic, and we're gonna let this garlic itself for 30 seconds until fragrant, they say. But it's already fragrant. Never understand. 
did that. So already fragrant. Now I'm gonna add a fourth cup of this fake flour, but I'm gonna do it slowly so it like clumps up a little bit. And when I say clump, I didn't actually mean clump. <laughs> I said not to let it clump. <laughs> you want it to look like a little bit of a paste. Look, it's working. Now I'm gonna add my entire thing of chicken stock to this thing, whisking the whole time. Ooh, she needs Chevy. Oh man, I'm worried about what I just put in there. <laughs> Is that supposed to do that? Like, babe, it's turning into bread. It is not. Oh, this looks normal. Okay, come on, just get out of there. The whole thing, right? Add the canned tomatoes, basil, and garlic. What do you mean, basil and garlic? I just added all my garlic. Is there another thing to gar... Okay, well, let's just go. Get in there, those splashes. Ooh. Oh, I'm excited about that. Oh, here come the fire roasted. It smells so good. I didn't actually chop. The basil. <laughs> Let's just move over here. So we need 10 things of these basil things, but I like a lot of the basil. So I'm just gonna add some extra. Oh my gosh, I can make a basil salad with this too. Let's add like a fourth cup though. Hold on, I gotta do my finger chop thing. Nope, it's not working. For the record, I have not chopped my finger except that one time, but that was different. So it wasn't actually chopping. About a fourth cup. That's about a fourth cup if you pound it in there. Let's add it to the mix. Ooh, stir is stirry. Garlic's already in. I don't know what they were talking about. You can either do a slow cooker for four hours, but we don't roll like that. Or you can cook on high for two hours. We don't roll like that. Or you can cook it on the stove top by bringing it to a boil and cover and reduce the heat and cook for 20 minutes. We cook like that. And while that cooks, I'm gonna make a quick and beautiful tomato basil salad. All right, where's the tomatoes? <laughs> I'm like doing these because it just goes in between my fingers and it goes And a cucumber. We're gonna save these little pieces back here for the hamster. Yum. Shredded perm. Yum. Now I will add these little pearls. So Eddie's not a big salad guy. We know that. You know what he does eat? These pearls. So I load them in there, little mozzarella pearls. Now we're gonna add some herb recurder. Yum, herb recurder. Salt, 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 salt. Give us a little bit of oil, Mr. Chicken. Thank you. Now we add the biggest lemon I've ever found in my life. You know, my stepmom used to do, she used to put her fingers in and she'd go, <laughs> her fingers, I just can't do it. Ugh. Oh man, I touched it. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. And now we get a little treat. A little salt, salt, salt. Open this gorgeous fruit because it has seeds. I mean, is it? Baby's a lemon of fruit. I have no idea. Right? Oh, I have a cut in my pinky. Yep, okay, that hurts. And then we ate it. Mm. And then we stir this beautiful thing. Look at that gorgeous salad. Don't you want some? We like salt in this house. I'm gonna put a little bit more salt. Yum. And we taste for good measure. Mmm, so good. This goes in the fridge. And we clean up as we go. Clean up as you go. And while we wait, we get kid left. Hi, mom was. I know, I just cleaned. I know, that's a big smell, isn't it? Is that a big smell? Yes, it is, I'm sorry. Go wash again. I got a beep beep up in here and it smells so good. <laughs> Remove the top, ooh, aw. Oh, we get to use an immersion blender. My brother gave me this like three Christmases ago and it was the best Christmas gift. I never knew I needed an immersion blender. All right, how do you work it though? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Ah! All right, we gotta do this until it's creamy. If you don't have an immersion blender, smash it somehow. You just really what I'm trying to do is get these big clumps out. Ooh. Oh yeah. Immersion blending for the win. Let me make sure I got all the big chunks. Doesn't this look delightful? Let me check this thing. Yep, got some on there. We're good. Two cups of this par, man. That's gonna be delicious. One cup of Parmesan, two cups of Parmesan. Okay, look, this thing says a cup of heavy whipping cream. Nope, nope, nope. I'm only gonna do half, because it gets heavy. Like, if you can't tolerate heavy stuff like myself, I wouldn't do a cup. Do half. Yum. Now we're just gonna heat it up for like, five to 10 minutes until the cheese has melted. Does that not look scrumptious? I'm like, oh, it smells so good. And now we're just gonna plug this in. Let it heat. Why is it this plug? You just push it a little and it works. That's not good. I'm, okay, let's 
do that. Today's plating is going to be picture worthy. There we go, look at that. <laughs> wait, 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 one little ball right. Come on, no, man. Let me just put it with my finger and put it right there. Yes. Hold on, let's just do a little sprinkles. Oh, that's gonna be a beautiful plate. And this one's for me. <laughs> he doesn't like salads, I love salad. Ooh, I heard it. All right, we're already prepared, isn't that great? That's just how, all I have to do is just put them in, close it up, wait for it to go green, and we have sandwiches. Oh, this is done. Okay, so when anything tells me to salt and pepper to taste, I just do this. <laughs> Legit. Ooh, pepper. Look at some salt. Yum. And that's it. All right, let's turn it off. Let's smush it around. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at the juiciness. Okay, this is gonna be legit. Oh, we gotta check these guys. Did that turn green yet? Does green mean go? Does green mean go? It usually doesn't take, oh, yay! Oh, yep, time to eat all around. Man, look at that mess. All right, this is challenging. Yes, nope, why are they both together? Time to plate these beauties. And the final accoutrement is gonna be a little bit of cheese that's fresh. Oh, love, time to eat. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful this is. Wait, how should I do it? Maybe this up here? No. Ooh, Hold wow, on. look at that presentation no. that you're about to drop. I know, right? I'm like trying to figure out how to do oh, it. Oh, yep, 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 okay. Wow, Okay. that's delicious looking. Don't eat it yet, I gotta take a picture. Okay. So look at how much is left over too, I love leftovers. Oh my gosh. It said it'll keep for a week in an airtight container. Really? Yeah. Babe, look I'm at this I'm gonna keep that treat. closer to my face. I know, right? Doesn't it look wow, good? Wow, it looks great. You really outdid yourself. Thank you, and then look, all you gotta do is you dippy dippy. Dippy dippy, but I'm gonna eat salad first because I and worried about my health. I'm so proud of you, eating salad. <laughs> it's all cheese and avocado. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.